Hey everyone, and welcome back to Nisha Sonic where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And today we're going to be talking about Captain America Brave New World and its reported budget, which has ballooned to an astronomical $375 million. Now, this is an issue that movies in general have been facing for the last, I want to say, six, seven years or so, where especially big superhero budget uh, movies like this and also animated movies, they have like this budget that has ballooned to an unnecessary large amount and it's really getting out of hand. Also, with those big balloon budget movies, comes with the challenges of breaking even and succeeding in the box office. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about it, but before I do that, just make sure you like, subscribe, and comment after watching the video. Also follow me on my social media, which you can find the links to in the description box below. They're also underneath this camera webcam overlay that you see right here. So definitely give me a follow and support me there. We're actually seeing some growth on my Twitter. Also definitely subscribe because it really helps out the channel a lot. YouTube tends to remove inactive channels and YouTube tends to unsubscribe people and, and I don't know why. Make sure you subscribe because it really helps me out. So let's go ahead and talk about it. This is from boundingintothecomics.com and it says here that Captain America Brave New World reshoots reported balloon budget to 375 million. It's like they're shooting a brand new movie, which we've been hearing a lot of word about this movie from reshoots, to more reshoots, to even like the test screening hasn't been going very positive for this movie. It's been really bad. So as if Marvel Studios' production problems with Blade weren't bad enough, a supposed insider is reporting that thanks to the recent round of reshoots, the budget for Captain America Brave New World has gotten absolutely way out of control. So despite facing down such threats as Hydra, the Flag Smashers, and even Thanos, Sam Wilson's biggest challenge yet has proven to be getting his debut solo film off the ground. Announced immediately following the series, finale of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the fourth Captain America film was originally slated for release on May 3rd, 2024. And I do apologize if I, if I do sound like a little stuffy. I am kind of sick. I'm coming down with a cold, so it's kind of hard to speak a little bit and also a little hard to breathe here and there. But I'm doing everything I can to remedy my situation. However, thanks to a combination of the 2023 Hollywood Guild Strikes and Marvel reshuffling their entire production slate later that year, the film was eventually delayed to its current release date of February 14th, 2024 which we should have gotten by now we're already in like we're approaching july already at the time of me making this video so it's been delayed once again like all movies brave new world was slot allotted of a brief period of following its principal photography to conduct reshoots the filming of which started in may 2024 and lasted roughly 22 days but rather than a simple and standard round of additional photography the reported widespread rejection of the film's initial cut by test audiences instead resulted in these reshoots being used to make a number of massive changes to the overall film including the complete removal of a previously filmed serpent society plotline which i would have loved to see starring wwe star seth rollins the introduction of a new and as of yet unidentified villain played by breaking bad star giancarlo esposito and the addition of more action scenes given how labor intensive they seemed many speculated that these reshoots would end up costing marvel studios far more than they were ever looking to spend, especially in the light of Disney's overall goal of getting a better handle on their falling finances. Yet, at the end of May 2024, a purported Marvel Studios insider assured the Hollywood reporter's Boris Kitt that, regardless of the film's extensive restructuring, Brave New World's final price tag would come by significantly less than the reported $270 million it cost to make the Marvels. Unfortunately for Marvel, it now seems that this claim may have been nothing more than either misinformed optimism or blatant PR puff. Relaying information allegedly relayed to him by contact deeply embedded in the current Brave New World reshoots, World of Reels Jordan Rumi reports that the top of the already confirmed budget of $275 million, these reshoots are said to cost Disney Marvel anywhere between $75 to $100 million, and that's making it a total of $375 million. So you have to think about this, and I'm about to get into the next part in just a sec. If the movie is about $375 million, if Disney, Marvel, wants to consider making this movie break even, they would have to make upwards of at least 750 to 800 million just to break even. It's not necessarily going to be a good thing for the movie, but hey, breaking even is breaking even, right? But they also have to cover marketing costs too. So this movie needs to make close to at least a billion to be considered a financial success in the box office. So to this end, Rumi's contact opined, it's like they're shooting a brand new movie. Should this figure turn out to be the film's actual budget, the standard true budget equation of the double and reported number suggests that the next Captain America film will need to make anywhere in the range of 700 to 750 million dollars in order to even and think about breaking even. And I think that's being a little generous. I'd say it should make close to a billion. See, this is the problem when 
studios have ballooned their budget for movies the higher it is the more difficult it is it's going to be for making this movie to even break even and from what it looks like and everything we've been hearing about blade and of course this movie how it failed to do well with test audience not a lot of people including myself don't have that much faith in this movie and it's going to be the first captain america without chris evans in it yes i know that sam wilson was a version of captain america in the comics i get that i even have some of those comics but honestly to say that he's captain america i would disagree he's not exactly my favorite version of captain america either so i'm not exactly all hyped about it and if the test audience felt that same way i'm not sure if this movie is going to even get close to breaking even if anything if i had to put my money on it i would have to say that this movie would probably hit about 600 million tops one it's a marvel movie so marvel already has that reputation for making really fun awesome movies but lately their quality just hasn't been great and i think deadpool and wolverine would at least put the fans in their good graces for a little bit because if Deadpool and Wolverine does well, which I'm sure it's gonna do really well, and it might even hit to close to a billion, especially with the return of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, then there's no doubt about that the movie that follows would do pretty good as well. I mean, we're expecting a lot of things from this movie, like the first appearance of the Red Hulk, and of course, some other characters that are gonna be showing up, which we're really excited about. But aside from that, just knowing that they had to reshoot almost like the entire film, kind of makes us feel a little mixed about this entire situation. So in light of Marvel Studios' recent string of failures, all one can say in response to this news is good luck. And there you have it. I also made a little quick video about this on my TikTok. So if you want to check that out, it's only about a, two minutes or so. Definitely give it a check out. The link to my TikTok is also in the description box below. And what are your thoughts about this whole situation? Are you excited about Captain America Brave New World? Are you going to go see the movie? What do you think about Sam Wilson being Captain America? And as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell in case you all don't miss anything. Dislike the video if you did, and I'll see you all in the next comic panel.